Hi, coloring friends. I'm here today to talk about the things that I completed uh, for coloring in November. So we're going to start here with my first one. And this is the Thanksgiving place cards that I colored. This was the uh, practice one that I made when I was preparing for completing those. I colored 10 of these to put on my family's Thanksgiving table. And I actually filmed a video doing that. It is the first video in my Coloring Outside the Book series. So that's um, anything that, just different ideas that you can use to color outside of just regularly coloring a coloring page. So that was the first thing I have here to show. And the next thing is another fall book. And I did two pages in this one this month. So I completed this one, just a pumpkin. And then I also completed this one here. And this one I kind of tried to practice a little bit of blending with my alcohol markers. I really haven't done much with much of that. So it was a learning process for sure, but I like the way this came out. I think it's pretty and very fall. So that was actually from the Jade Summer Autumn coloring book. Then I have a couple of whips to show. Unfortunately, I uh, would have liked to have gotten more done this month, but with Thanksgiving and we also celebrated Christmas with my family because they'll be uh, out of state for Christmas. And I started a new job. So between that and my kids' activities, uh, time was more limited than I expected. And also the kitchen renovation that's been going on made things a little difficult too because everything's a mess in my house. So this is the one I started in this book. Oh, sorry. This is a Garden Circles adult coloring book by Tabitha L. Barnett. And I started working on this owl. I had mentioned in my uh, coloring hopefuls video for November that I wanted to try an owl picture because I had seen Elm Colors, another uh, color tuber, discuss a whole series on how to color owls. So I wanted to put her, some of her ideas to practice and I got started. I like how he's coming along. I am excited to finish him up and I'm hoping to do that this month because I think he's going to look really cool when he's all finished. So that's in Garden Circles by Tabitha L. Barnett. The next one is in Fantastic World of the Brothers Grimm. And that is illustrated by Forest Diver. Now this one, another whip, I actually did a video. Uh, this was my first attempt at doing a chalk pastel background. And I really like the way it came out. My plan is to have a sunsetty background and then color the forest in very dark colors. So it's like she's going from the sunny place into this dark woods. Uh, I thought that would look pretty cool. So so I'm excited to finish it up and get this part colored. And I will, of course, share that when it's complete. But I do like the way it has started out. And that is Fantastic World of the Brothers Grimm by Forrest Diver. Next, another whip. I got started a whole bunch of them. <laughs> I promise I finished some more. But... This is in Nice Little Town 6 by Tanya Bogema Stilova. And I started this page here, this cute little house, mushroom house. And, um, yep, I just started working on the greenery in it. So I like how it's coming along. I'm excited to get finished it when I have time to. But... That is what I started in Nice Little Town 6 by Tanya Bogema Stilova. All right, we are back to an actual finished page. 
So I finished a page in the Big Fantasy Coloring Book in Grayscale by Molly Harrison. And this is probably my favorite of the month. I really love the way this one turned out. So this is a fairy I did. And I got to try out in this my new uh, Ganzai Tambi Opal Watercolors the paints that I got for my birthday actually and I used that to do the stars and her wings and her eyes and the ball that she's holding and then the background I used uh, distress inks to do and then pencil work for the rest of her but I love the way she came out I think she is so pretty so definitely definitely happy with that one and that was in Big Fantasy Coloring Book in Grayscale by Molly Harrison. I really like this book. Then I did a Mystery Mosaics. And I just continue on in order in this book. And I completed this one this month. So I think this one's really cool. I like how it turned out. Some of them I'm not always so thrilled with. I know last the one I did last month I was kind of meh, didn't love the colors, didn't love the picture, but this one's really cool. So, like a DJ there. And that is Mystery Mosaics Woman, and that is by put out by Belba Family. Then this is probably one of my longest standing whips that I've completed. So I'm happy about that. I did this page here. I finished up. So I had done, I had started way back years and years ago when I first got this book and didn't know anything at all about coloring other than just picking up a marker and coloring the thing. So I had started with some of the leaves and some of the things at the top. And as I worked my way down, I'd come back to it and add a little bit. And I did these flowers last year when I started coloring uh, more frequently. And then I had this bottom area to finish off. And I got that all finished this month. And I think it turned out super cute. I really like that it this two-page spread really shows so far my coloring journey because this was very straightforward coloring when I first got this book and I mean of course I love to color then too but I it wasn't as big of a hobby for me as it is now and then I can see what I've learned so far and I'm hoping that as I finish through the whole book that by the end there will be a really cool progression of my skill that I can see. So that is Johanna Basford's Ivy and the Inky Butterfly, which I would love to someday have the whole thing colored. Um, we'll see. We'll see, but, but it's fun to do. I love this book. I think it's gorgeous. And then I have oh, yet another whip. This is in A Million Cute Animals by Lulu Mayo. And I started this cute picture here. And I love how it's going. I'm excited to finish this one up too. I probably will try to finish this one up this month because there's not a whole lot left to do. And I like, I like when you come up with a strategy and it's the same thing repetitively on the page and you know how you're doing it and it's just, it becomes sort of relaxing then because you can just sit down and repeat over and over. So I will probably use that to relax myself in December when I finish off all these leaves. But that is the cute one in A Million Cute Animals by Lulu Mayo. And my last one is one of my ones in the Zen Doodle Color by Number Stained Glass, illustrated by Deborah Muller. And this is another one that I'm just working my way through. And this is one I completed. So I did this at the very end of the month. And 
It wasn't as relaxing as it could have been because my alcohol markers are starting to run out. And then it becomes almost stressful because you're wondering, okay, I have 11 more spaces. Can my marker hold out for that? And my marker did not hold out for that. So it's a little patchier than usual, but it's okay. It's not my favorite in this book anyway, but um, I was hoping to complete this book by the end of the year, and I don't think I don't think I'm gonna get there, but maybe next year. This is another nice relaxing one to sit down and do when I just wanna mindlessly color. So that is all I colored for November. So I hope everyone enjoyed seeing that. Um, I'd love to hear what you're looking forward to coloring in December. I will be sharing what I'm looking forward to coloring in December very soon. So I hope you catch me on the next one. Bye!